Hello, in this video we're going to create and style a flow direction map. We derived the flow direction from a DEM. We use the LDD create tool for that. The LDD create tool will fill the things and result in the flow direction. If you're interested in the filled DEM, you need to use the LDD create DEM tool. In this case we don't need it, so we use the LDD create tool. Each PC raster tool has a link to the documentation which is quite complete. So here we can see all the parameters that are needed for the tool and the description of what they mean. It also gives the encoding of the flow direction, which corresponds with the numerical pad of your keyboard. Here's an explanation of the arguments of the tool and there are examples of the calculation. In our case, make sure that you have the DM in the PC raster format, a scalar map, and we keep all the defaults to fill all the things, and then we define the output file name. Call it flow direction, dot map for the PC raster format, and click run. This takes some time, but when it's finished it will appear in a map canvas. The next step is to style it and to add the compass directions. The flow direction is encoded in integer values and therefore we need to use the palleted unique values renderer. If I click classify, each of the direction numbers values get a unique color and a label. But we are going to further process that using the attribute table. So I create a raster attribute table. I click open raster attribute table. And here I can uh, change the colors of the directions and add uh, class names with the compass directions. So I'm going to do a fast forward here to add the colors and the names. But you can uh, later add the RGB colors from this uh, final attribute table. Names of the compass directions. And I use this then to classify uh, the raster and here the colors are added as well as the names of the compass directions. But it's still very difficult to interpret such a colorful map. I can uh, add the shading from the hillshade by using some blending. Just make sure that it's only blending with the hillshade and with nothing else. And there we get a bit of a shading impression. We can make it smoother by changing the resampling to zoomed in bilinear. You can still improve the visualization by uh, using arrows instead of colors. Therefore, we need to install the Crayfish plugin. The Crayfish plugin has uh, tools to deal with mesh layers, and we can convert the PC raster flow direction format to a mesh. Therefore, we choose here from the processing toolbox PC Raster LDD to grip. A very simple tool where we only need to specify the output file name of the grip file. Call it flow dear mesh not to get confused with the raster format. Close the dialog when it's done. It's not automatically added to uh, the layers panel so we need to look it up in the browser panel. And there we find it and we expand uh, the flow dear mesh uh, section and drag the mesh uh, layer to the map canvas. It will take some time to load uh, and then it shows up in uh, yellow. Uh, when we switch off the contours and we switch on the vectors, it will be filled with arrows and will be turned into black. But now under the vectors tab, we can uh, tweak the arrows to make more sense out of this. First, we can modify the arrow length and give it a fixed length. And uh, let's start with changing it to one pixel. And then when we zoom in, we see that now each pixel has uh, an arrow. We can also display the arrows on a user grid. And we can play with these values to improve it. And we can also change the color of the arrows. We can use blue. And you can even visualize this in the 3D view. If 
You can also visualize it as streamlines or as traces. So in this video you've learned how to create a flow direction map and to style it with a directional ramp, or use the Crayfish plugin to export it to mesh format and style it with arrows, streamlines and traces.